everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch Suicide Squad movie Harley Quinn figure from Mattel. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've been seeing with all the Multiverse figures. You've got the red box with the black highlights. Up at the very top, you've got the Suicide Squad movie logo done with the Joker type colors, and you've got the little smiley face in the queue. Then you've got the DC Comics Multiverse logo. The figure's clearly displayed in the window box packaging and then down below you have a picture of Harley Quinn from the movie and the name and it tells us it comes with a croc collect and connect piece. Also you'll notice on the window of the box it says special add-on piece included. Now I think this version of Harley is going to be considered a variant figure very similar to what we saw in the Dawn of Justice line with the unmasked Batman figure and the Heat Vision Superman. I don't know if these are going to be exclusive someplace. I picked this figure up off of eBay. I don't think these figures have actually started to hit shelves yet so again I don't know exactly how this figure is going to be released on the side of the packaging you have again an image of Harley Quinn from the movie on the other side you really don't have anything and then on the back we see six of the figures in the line so figures four five and six I know are general release figures so the Joker with the purple coat the katana and then this Harley Quinn without the jacket that comes with a, a baseball bat is the regular version but then figures one two and three I think are basically alternate or variants. Uh, again, I don't know how to really classify them, but we've got Harley Quinn with the long hair without the ponytails, and I think she's wearing a gown, this figure. Then you've got the Joker with the silver coat. I'm going to be looking at this figure later in the week or next week, and then this is the Harley Quinn figure we're looking at today. So these three figures not only are variants of the regular figures, but also they come with variant croc uh, collect and connect pieces. So we've got, you'll see here, this croc has a coat on and a shirt. The regular figures, and this is a, the back of the packaging of the Deadshot figure, you'll see the croc does not have any shirt on at all. So like this Harley Quinn figure that we're looking at today actually has a, it's an add-on piece that goes around the torso for the uh, the coat and the shirt. It's not an actual alternate torso. But then the arms, you get alternate pairs of arms with sleeves and then you'll get an alternate pair of arms without sleeves. Okay, so let's get this figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at Harley outside of the packaging along with the other contents. So as I mentioned before, you do get a croc collect and connect piece and this is an add-on piece to give you the shirt and This look. is done with a vinyl material like we see with capes and stuff. And like I said, what you'll do is you'll just put this over the torso piece without the shirt, you'll, you know, so it looks like he's wearing the shirt and then you'll want to attach the arms that have the sleeves sculpted on. So the torso piece that um, I believe will come with the Batman figure and then the alternate arms with the sleeves will come with the Joker figure with the silver coat. The figure also comes with a mallet and there's really no paint detail on this. It's just done with a brown plastic. You do have the red diamonds that are painted on the one side but that's really the only paint application on this. It's uh, done with a fairly hard plastic so it's not you don't really have to worry about it bending or anything. You've got some sculpting detail with the little rivets here on the upper and lower part of the mallet um, but again very basic looking overall. And she can hold the mallet in the left hand and that's the hand that she holds it best. You can also put it in the right hand but she holds it a little more loose in that one and then you can also get her in some two-handed poses as well. The figure overall I think looks pretty good. I like the face sculpt. It's not 100% to the actress, but I think it's pretty close. And I like the little details, like the little tattoos on her face. So you can uh, do her hair back a little bit and you see she's got rotten and a little heart, purple, or I guess that's more blue heart. And the hair is very yellow, a very light yellow. And then she's got the blue on the one side and the pink on the other. And you can, the ponytails are done with some flexible uh, type rubber material. Though I would be careful if you pulled on them too hard you could possibly pull those ponytails off. She's got the little gold uh, earrings. She's got a lot of earrings and both sides. She's got the little pudding collar and then on her shirt it says uh, daddy's little monster. Now on, on mine at least the end of the word monster is kind of scratched off a little bit. I don't know if that's movie accurate. It does kind of give the shirt a, a worn look to it. You can see she's got some holes um, in the shirt as well. In this coat, the coat's a separate piece and and you, the sleeves are sculpted on, but the coat itself is a separate piece. The holster is actually part of the coat. Uh, not a lot of detail with the gun, just a white handle, and then the holster is just black. 
the sleeves on the one side you've got the blue and on the other you've got the red and you've got some gold trim on the sleeves and then you've got these little uh, spiked wrist bracelets which are actually part of the hand not the arm so they turn with the hand then she's got the belt again with the little gold metallic spikes and the gold belt buckle and the gold metallic spikes go all the way around the back on the back of the coach you've got property of the joker so I like that detailing and the writing on the on the back of the coat then she's got the fish stockings and she's got some tattoos on her legs which again I think look pretty good she's got the little diamond pattern some hearts pudding so overall nice detailing there and then on the shoes you've got laces sculpted and then the black markings and the red heels so overall like I said I think the figure looks pretty good not quite as detailed as like an SH figure arts or Mafex figure but then again it doesn't cost as much either this figure stands about six and a quarter inches tall Here's a comparison with some of the other Mattel Dawn of Justice multiverse figures and you can see Harley is the shortest of the bunch. And for a final comparison, here she is next to the 6 inch DC Comics Icons comic book Harley Quinn from DC Collectibles. And you can see the Mattel figure is a little bit taller. Articulation on this figure is pretty much on par with what we've seen with the other figures in the line. She can turn her head to the left and the right. She really has no up or down movement with the head. Arms are attached with a standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so she can get her arm out good. She's got good rotation. She's got ro uh, bicep swivel. She's got a single hinged elbow. She's got swivels at the wrist but no hinges on the hands. She has a midsection joint but really doesn't have much in the way of crunch and can't really look back very much either. She does not have a waist swivel unfortunately. Legs are attached with ball joints. She doesn't have those side hinge joints like we often see with Mattel figures but she does have ball joints so she can do the splits about that much. She can get a leg forward pretty good and she can do her leg back decently. She's got a thigh swivel. She's got a single hinge knee so she can move her knee about that much. Then she has hinges on her feet so she's got a little bit of up and down movement with the feet but no rotation and no pivot and no no peg holes on the bottom of her feet okay so that's my review overall i think this is a decent figure the likeness to the actress isn't 100 percent but i don't think it's too bad and i definitely think it's an improvement over what we saw with the dawn of justice figures in this line i also like the detailings with the tattoos and the t-shirt and everything now it's obviously not quite as nice as the mafex and the sh figure arts but as i mentioned it's not going to cost as much either so i don't think this this figure started to hit shelves as if yet yeah, I picked mine up off of eBay but I think it should probably start hitting shelves very soon. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the description below. As always leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined please like the video. Also if you haven't already please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time I'll catch you later.